My dear friends, thank you for uh, joining me for adoration and benediction of the Most Blessed Sacrament in the prayers of the Novena of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. For those of you that may not be familiar with the Miraculous Medal, let me just take a few minutes and explain to you what this medal entails and the uh, power that it has and the millions of miracles that have been performed to those who wear the medal and pray to our Blessed Mother through her, through her to her son Jesus. It all began in the mid-1800s when a young uh, uh, sister of charity of the order of uh, St. Vincent de Paul began her first year at the novitiate in Paris on Rue de Bac, Bac Way. And one evening while she was sleeping, she was awakened by a young child. And she was taken by this child into the uh, chapel. And in that chapel, it was lit up as if it was Christmas time. And she was very much concerned that the other sisters at the novitiate would be awakened by the bright lights of the candles. But the angel told her that this wouldn't happen and that she should just remain quiet there in the chapel. And soon after that, she heard a rustling, and there she saw a beautiful woman sitting in a chair at the right side of the chapel. And she knew immediately that this was our Blessed Mother. And it was here that Mary introduced herself to uh, Catherine Labore. And Catherine stood there and talked with our Blessed Mother with what seemed like ours. And they talked about things such as her growing up, taking care of the family after her mother passed away early. And also talking about the state of uh, the world, especially that in Paris, which was on the brink of the French Revolution. And she also talked about the need for prayer. And that was pretty much the first apparition. But she reminded St. Catherine that she would see her again, and at that time she would have a very important message for her. And it wasn't long thereafter that while Catherine was in meditation there in the chapel, the Blessed Mother appeared to her a second time. And when she appeared to her this second time, she showed her what appeared to be a frame uh, around her and the words, O Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you. And our Blessed Mother was standing upon a golden globe, which St. Catherine uh, viewed as the earth. And she had her arms outstretched, and there were rays of light emanating from her hands down towards the earth. And at that point, this picture slowly turned around. And on the back side of it, she saw 12 stars encircling a large letter M. And in fixed across the M were two intertwining crosses. And below the crosses was a heart, the uh, sacred heart of Jesus, and next to it was the immaculate heart of Mary. And our Blessed Mother asked St. Catherine to take this image to her confessor and have her confessor see to it that this image was stored into a medallion and that this medallion was passed out throughout the world. And anyone who wore this medallion, this miraculous medal, would receive graces from her son through her. And so I think that in these times that we are right now, especially those who are suffering so terribly from this pandemic, the sick, the dying, the unemployed, those who are shut in in their homes, those who have great anxiety and fear. We all have special needs to request, and those needs can be no better requested than through our Blessed Mother to her son, Jesus. And that is why we meet every Monday evening here at seven o'clock and, and pray these prayers to our Blessed Mother and then, in the quiet of these prayers, we have adoration and benediction of the most blessed sacrament, offering up our prayers through our Blessed Mother to her Son, Jesus. 
So I pray that in these very difficult times that we are going through right now, that we all have a great devotion to our Blessed Mother and to continue to ask her to pray for us to her son, for an end, uh, for a vaccine, uh, for work for those who are out of work, for school for the children that are away from schools, for protection of our doctors and nurses that are caring for these uh, sick people. And also for the caregivers, those who every day take care of those who are sick. They are all in need of our prayers, and there is no one to better to pray to at this time than our Blessed Mother. Amen. even to the end of time. Amen. Amen. 